everybody thank you for pressing play on my video today my name is Charlene Luciano and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! I have a really cute project to share with you guys today and I've spent all weekend trying to wrap my brain around how to make a fry box the problem is with the fry box Stampin' Up! used to actually carry a die that used to cut out the actual box now in order for me to make that kind of box I need to print out a template because I do not have that die that die also has retired so this is what I came up with instead so I'm going to show you how we did this now I know it's not a fry box but it's pretty darn close kind of <laughs> what's nice as well is it also holds a little gift card holder you know you can put your gift card in the back um, I filled it with some uh, cookies only because I don't have chocolate right now I've actually stuffed my face and eaten all the chocolate so <laughs> I had to use cookies so I have my envelope punch board and I have some melon mumbo cardstock and this piece is cut at six by six I'm going to pull out my stylus here and we are going to punch and score at two inches. We're then going to move this down and we are going to punch and score at four inches. We are then going to rotate it 180 and we are going to punch and score move it down to four inches punch and score we're then going to line it up with this mark over here and it's roughly around the two inch mark anyway and line it up with that line punch and score on this piece here this final one we are only going to punch we are not going to score two inch down to the four inch and that is it on this one here I use the sweet soray specialty designer series paper but for this one here I'm using the myths and magic designer series paper this paper is beautiful and if you have kids in school and you're looking to make a little something for the kids at school you can switch it up for the girls you can do these unicorns or the mermaids and for the little boys they have these fabulous little I don't know what you call this but really cute you guys they have dinosaurs with little you know beautiful paper and it's got like this iridescent in it it is stunning um, but when you cut your designer series paper you just want to be mindful of which way to cut the paper so when you wrap it it's facing the right way and it's not upside down okay this piece I have cut at two and a quarter by nine inches and I will show you what we're going to do with this in a second. So right now we have our little little box templates. I have my bone folder and we are going to fold and crease all the score lines. So you got a piece over here in the back that has no score on that and you're just going to take your paper snips and you're going to cut across that back piece that has no score line on it what you're going to do now is you are going to cut up these two score lines until you get to the uh, horizontal score line over here so you're going to just cut up you can miter the corners if you wish it's again it's optional it's going to be hidden away so I'm not even going to bother I actually didn't even use adhesive for this box except for the little belly band that went around so I just took these two bottom flaps I folded them underneath like so and then I came in once I got my box shape 
I came in with my stapler and again this is going to be covered up and you're not going to see it your stuff's not going to fall out because you've just stapled this point here so unless this stapler comes out this box is pretty good pretty sturdy so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my simply scored scoring board and we want to make some score marks on the designer series paper and again this is cut at two and a quarter by nine we are going to score this at two and an eighth we're going to score it at three and five eighths we're going to score it at six and we're going to score it at seven and three eighths now all these measurements will be over on my website www.stampwithshar.com so if you missed anything, everything will be there along with a detailed description about today's project. I'm just scoring my score lines. And then I am just going to add some adhesive. I'm using my multi-purpose liquid glue. And I am just going to put glue all around my little belly band. And the reason why I'm doing a little belly band was I wanted to cover up this front yuckiness that's going on. And you are just now with the liquid glue, it gives you some time to play around and get the paper right in the right place. This designer series paper is stunning. I'm very sad I didn't get the bundle, but I sure will be on my next order. Probably more some of this paper too, because I've gone through this paper a lot. Super cute, you guys. I'm using the Everyday Label Punch, and I went ahead and punched out one of the dazzling diamonds glimmer paper or iridescent paper which goes nicely with these little unicorn things I also have a piece of whisper white I'm just gonna punch out a whisper white I am using melon mumbo ink today to go with my box and from the stamp set I'm using the butterfly basics I'm using sending wishes your way uh, where did I put my stamp? Okay, and I'm just going to ink up my stamp. Beautiful. And I'm now going to attach the piece that I just punched and stamped onto this glimmer paper which is gorgeous so pretty and I'm now going to attach this to my little box oops that kind of moved didn't want that to happen again with the liquid glue you just got to hold it a few seconds because it does need a little drying time And then I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And attach it on my box like so. Super cute. Love today's project. And again, if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I will have a detailed description about today's project at www.stampwithshar.com and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Take care.